Welcome guys to another episode of Brand Decoded Show. Thank you for tuning in. Today, an interesting topic. Why are marketing departments and companies dysfunctional? And I've been observing this trend from being in the marketing department, running an asymmetrical marketing department that was like pulling in 100X on the return on investment. And I'm observing marketing departments where multi-million billion dollar companies are just wasting money for no reason. So I freelanced in a lot of those and I worked in only one and the second company where I'm introducing asymmetrical marketing capabilities is my own. It's like I've done it for someone else once. I, uh, this is the story of the statue, right? I made someone over 50 million, 60 million dollars worth of organic visibility while I only got this statue, right? So, and a salary, but it wasn't proportionate to the value that I brought to the table. And instead of feeling hurt and living in scarcity, um, I focused on abundance and allowing my infinite mind to create more wealth in a shape or form that corporates and mindset NPC employees cannot execute on. It's, it's fairly simple. And I wanted, to, I wanted to address the elephant in the room. There are people that understand the game and are really high level entrepreneurs. And when they apply their creative genius, they get asymmetrical gains on the market. And there's a few reasons why this is happening, but the primary reason is the loop, like a gap that exists in the direct response marketing. Corporates do not understand direct response. They are completely blind to how marketing and attraction operate. And they, they want to look at the Facebook ads, Google ads, SEO in a binary level without giving a proper attention to the creative like when I say creative, I don't mean a person, but a creative asset, a digital asset, like a landing page, copy, blog post, tweet, YouTube video, any of those things. And they observed that in a binary fashion. They went to school and they only think in, in terms of inputs and outputs. And I've talked to these people, right? I've, I've, I've sat down in companies and I'm trying to explain the asymmetrical gains and maximizing the return on attention and it falls in deaf, deaf ears because it requires more of a thinking process. The, the marketing work cannot be charged hourly. It's based on creativity and you need to get the creative person to, to do the creative work. The, the grunt work can be done by pretty much anyone. But the, the creative work that is actually the needle mover is the one that's stopping uh, corporates from growing their businesses. Those that exploit the direct response, they're becoming millionaires overnight, and like literally overnight. And we've seen this with Alex Hormozzi, we've seen this with Daniel Fazio, we've seen this with Dan Co. Like pretty much every social media influencer is an influencer because they're making money. Not because they're influencer first, but, but marketer second, but because they're marketer first and they inevitably grow in size because everyone wants to look at their, uh, their success. And it's like success attracts more success and more wealth and boom, like things just end up exploding for them. So that is the power of direct response. Now, direct response requires an awful lot of observation and pattern recognition capabilities that most people don't have. Why do they do not have the pattern recognition capabilities. They're stuck in the loop. They're having this anxiety attacks within their chest, right? Because they have to pay their bills. And because they are in this scarcity that is physically manifesting itself as they are living their life, the higher par parts of the brain, amygdala and pineal gland, they cannot produce the ideas that are going to push them into the stratosphere. This is what I call reaching escape velocity. You cannot reach escape velocity with the NPC mindset. It's not possible. Like if you think, so this is like my personal observation, like my personal shortcoming. I worked my ass off and I worked through the pain to get to where I'm at. But 
if I could come back 10 years, if I could return time 10 years back, I, and I allowed my creative genius to, to explode sooner and to have more faith in myself, I would have exploded much, much faster. So self-esteem coupled with no stress is allowing your creative genius to perform at its highest. So you can observe the patterns like observe the marketplace, observe the game. The game is visible today. You, you, you only have to dig under the surface and think, but people do not have thinking capabilities. That's why majority of people fail when it comes down to making money, because they are thinking that you need to work hard. It, you have to work, there's no doubt about it, but hard work is gonna get you nowhere. The smart work, on the other hand, requires you to work hard until you acquire the skills of smart work. And that requires a lot of repetition. So putting yourself into the action is great, but you also have to observe. So if you're just putting in the action and you're burning yourself down, you're literally grinding yourself into death and then you're gonna quit and abandon your project or your company or whatever, is, whatever it is that you're trying to do because you are stuck in this loop of anxiety and worry about money. So granted, you have to create an environment where you don't have to worry and where you just think. And the thinking doesn't happen when you're watching porn, have a social media addiction, etc. Only after you detach from your addictions will you be able to see the game for how it is being played because you need to observe it. You need to be a student of the game in order to win at the game. I have results behind me that are proving what I'm saying is true. It's, it's been 15 years of me applying my mind and reading and thinking and reading obsessively. And at one point, like there is no other course that you will need. You can get some courses to give you the perspective, but at the end of the day, you are the one who needs to walk the path. And you are the one who determines how difficult the game is going to be for you or how easy it will be. And the sooner you realize this, the sooner you detach, from the outcomes and you just play the game, the sooner you will win. That is clean cut observation of all the people that ever succeeded. They took a breath, they knew what they wanted to do and they put in the work or they hired someone to do the work for them. They knew exactly what they needed, exactly what they wanted. They've tapped into the infinite creative within themselves and they've made it. So that is, that is one thing that I, that I wanted to discuss today. The other thing was like a really big topic of the newsletter that I wrote this morning is why successful copywriters are not working with the corporates. Like so I've, I've touched this briefly in the previous part of the video, but in this part of the video, I, I, I really have this observation of people that are succeeding in direct response the reason why corporates can't hire them is because of the NPC mindset that is preventing corporates from understanding those that are in the abundance. There is a disconnect. You cannot have a person that's li living in the scarcity, like literally living in the scarcity, that having that anxiety from having to arrive to work at nine o'clock sharp while they're like facing the traffic rush and someone else is sitting in their living room, not having to worry about the damn thing in the world. There's a disconnect in the energy. That's why the, the corporates are not hiring creative geniuses out there because of the energy mismatch, all right? So the corporates, if they, if they wanted to build businesses that are not burning money on advertising, making Google and Facebook rich. So like they're doing like a mechanical pipeline of advertising, which means like, hey, buy ads, and expect that you will get the return. What ends up happening, because these people are just doing their jobs, is that they're burning such insane amounts of revenue for marketing that doesn't work. And, and if anyone is paying attention to the game, I feel bad for people that are, that are spending so much money on Facebook ads. It's like, it's not, it's not yielding the returns. I would say that the only people that are insanely benefiting from Facebook ads are, are gaming companies 
because they are selling a free product, they're increasing their user base, and they're getting people addicted to buy the in-game purchases. Because their product is digital, they're selling, they're selling like thin air, they are the ones who can afford to put back 50, 60, 70% of their revenue back into Facebook ads, counting on longevity of an addict for their video game, counting on, on their longevity to, to, to monetize on that. So outside of those companies, and select few copywriters and, and direct response marketers, I do not know many others that are making money with, with, uh, with Facebook ads. I'm saying like from the corporate, from the big companies, when they're buying this advertising space, they typically operate at a loss. How do I know this? Consulted them, seen their numbers, do not recommend. <laughs> like I do not recommend. So you have this energy mismatch between the people that are living in abundance and these people that are living in the scarcity and then the conversation and how the conversation goes between the corporate and the copywriter that knows what they're doing in a direct response side. The, the corporate's asking a question, how much will it cost? And uh, the copywriter will say $50,000. What will I get for $50,000? The, the copywriter says you will get the copy. And like the, the corporate is like, how much will you work on this copy? And then the copywriter will say, I will work as little as humanly possible to get the result. And their head just explodes because they're not used to that answer. They don't have a business acumen, right? And the, the time of the copywriter spent on this, if it was spent on living their life, it will be much more well spent than taking that money from the corporate. So there's a catch 22. How will you hire someone that values their time more than your money and you want to force them to play your time game when they are playing the results game? That's like just a business 101. And as long as you have employees talking to the business owners, they will, there, will there will always be a mismatch between the energy. There's very few companies uh, that are publicly traded that are direct response in nature. So I may not be 100% accurate on all of these. I, I use this story as an example. Don't hold me to every word that I've said here, but I'm seeing this play out in practice and so many times, and it's funny every time I get an inquiry and someone asking me, why will I charge them $20,000 for a copy? Because I'll make money, simple. Have a good one, guys.